there are lots of people who've had ACL injuries and come back to skiing. Some of them wear uh, braces, some of them don't. Um, some of them have operations, some of them don't. It's, it's, uh, it's important just to you know, start off easily. Uh, anybody can do it. You, know, you just start off in the beginner slopes, gradually build up from there. Um, it shouldn't cause a, a major problem. I've got a friend who tore his ACL just before he had to do his speed test and he went ahead and did it. It's not a, uh, an accident that's going to stop you skiing at all. You don't want it to happen again, so uh, keeping uh, the leg uh, bending in the right way, so not trying to tilt the knee in too much, um, so that it's flexing towards the ski tip, um, but getting the edging and the angulation from the hip so that the, uh, you're using the big muscles in the leg rather than sort of twisting the knee in and uh, hopefully if you're doing that then you're not going to, uh, to you know aggravate the, the ligament again well the mental side i think it's just doing easy skiing first of all um, runs that people like doing over and over again lots of repetition so that they can build up that confidence they can build up the speed and obviously you know runs change during the day so you can be on the same run but it could be hard packed first thing in the morning and then slushy in the afternoon but as you go through the day doing that run, you, your body can change and adapt and hopefully you, know, you, you keep your confidence. And if you're starting to get tired, you know, because one, your legs are burning or you might be taking more falls than you'd normally do and that's the time to, to quit and to build up gradually, um, not try to do everything in a day that normally most people would do in a week.